Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first, or actually the second, but the first in-person real Age to Marvel conference here in Berlin. I'm happy to welcome so many people here in the room, but also uh, even more, I guess, on the on the live stream since we're streaming today's event also live on the net. So we started with the opening statement from from Dr. Kaufmann from the Federal Ministry who gave us, from my point of view, well, the recent knowledge, the recent scenery of where we are at and how we also play into the realization of the National Hydrogen Strategy with our Age Tomorrow project. Then uh, Jimmy jumped in for the, the keynote and gave us some really interesting insights into the SEN1 award process, which is currently ongoing and which obviously, ideally, will be one of the actual tests or actual sites where the solutions we are looking at right now might actually be put into operation. Then we had again Jimmy and Isabel sharing the, some insights or some updates also from our other partnering flagship projects to make sure to everyone that we're not alone out there and that it's really about sharing the information and, and keeping in touch with the others and had then straight over further touch to reality to what why we're doing it so Urs was showing us Aquaventos what they are planning what ideas are ongoing where other initiatives are doing already work in parallel so that we are developing right now can actually then be really put into operation and make a difference out there in a bigger scale Florian gave us a concrete feedback from an operator's point of view and RWE is a very good example but obviously not the only one of where the actual developers and then operators are already now looking at what different options are out there and why it's so important for us to be already discussing with everybody also in that uh, landscape of what we're doing and what could be happening and also why a party and industry player like RWE is also part of our initiative here. Then we had a bit of the discussions which uh, hopefully gave you some, some further insights and maybe some discussion points. And uh, we had the three presentations focusing at the process technology and the challenges of the wind turbine itself. And then last but not least, Jens with the different aspects on, on the social, the economic and ecological levels. All of that from my point of view was really a good session with the different insights.